So a small reminder for myself and for all of us, us parents, that the children we've been given are an amana. They are not something given to us so we can control them. The more we try to control them, the more frustrated we become anyway. And the more I have seen this, especially in families that wanted to preserve the deen of their children, the more they try to push the religion on their children with control, the more those children rebelled in the strangest ways. In the strangest ways. Because the thing that Allah wants to give, the, the opportunity you have with your children is not to make them surrender to your instructions. The opportunity you have with them is to make them think about things that only you can make them think about. Make them love things only you can make them love. Your kid loves basketball because he sees you play basketball. He loves the PlayStation because he sees dad play the PlayStation. You can put a love in your child because of how you are. You can do that. And when you tell your kid, do your homework, do your homework, your kid is not going to be 40 years old and say, I love homework. But your kid could be 40 years old and say, I love basketball. My dad used to play all the time, loved it. What you love gets transferred over. What you instruct gets rejected. That's your reality. Forget your children. That's your own reality. The things, some of the things you love about your dad are the things that were passed down by love. And some of the things you hate about your dad are the things that he tried to shove down your throat. That's the reality of everyone sitting here. You, even if you don't say it out loud, because we love our parents and we respect them, but there are some things that we, we didn't take from them. And there are some things we did. And the only things we did were the ones that were tasked, passed down by love. And that's actually the ishara given to us parents in the ayah of Surah Al-Isra. Rabbi rahamhuma kama rabbayani. Sorry, rabbayani means when you... Uh, tarbiyah is used for growing a plant. You have to take care of the plant. You have to be delicate with it. You have to nurture it. You have to provide it soft soil. You have to remove the weeds from it. You can't yell at the plant. You can't say, get up already, grow already. You have to let it take its time. You have to, you have to see sometimes insects come and bite some of the leaves. And you have to remove the insects. And you cannot just... You, ha you have to sometimes be a little bit harsh with it, but just enough that the, the, the insect is removed and then you have to water it again this is us and our kids and this is why we make that dua for our parents may Allah give our children the guidance that only he can give Allah put istiqama in their hearts that they make right choices in their lives may Allah make them like the dua of Ibrahim alayhi salam that he made for all of us his all of his lineage and all of the ummah when he said rabbi ja'alni muqima salati wa min dhurriyati May, my Rabb, make me someone who established the prayer and from among my children also. And may Allah take, give the parents here, myself and all of you, make us examples of loving Allah and loving the prayer so that our children fall in love with the prayer just because of the way we love the prayer. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Hakim wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bil ayati wa dhikr al-Hakim.